Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video has been highly requested on my Instagram as well as here on my YouTube channel. So I thought today I will quickly show you guys how I store my handbags and where I store them. So this is the door. Let me open it and show you guys. This is my little area where I store my handbags and just um, this room used to be a nursery room for my little boy and now he got the bigger room so this is just a door to get into my actual room from the master bathroom where i am right now and this room has two doors to go to the main hallway to our house so this room is really tiny i don't know if you guys can see that um yeah this room is in the process of me just decorating and just print things that I like in this little room so um, maybe when I'm done with the decorating I can maybe show you guys later on but I think it will take for a while because you know anyways here is my big mirror that I got from Kirkland I think I paid about 30 or 40 dollars with the um, coupon that I had at that time I've been looking for a perfect girly big big giant mirror uh, everywhere but I haven't found one so I wanted to just get one um, temporarily to put on this wall so I have that there and I like it and this is the area where I take lots of pictures to post on my Instagram like outfit of the day and there you see three cars that my little boy loves at the moment that those are his favorite toys um, he loves cars so he have them organized right there so funny okay so here are the curtains that I got uh, from anthropology those were on sale I absolutely love them I buy lots of things from anthropology when they're especially on sale I never buy you know I, I never pay full price because they're well made but too expensive so anyways here are the cuts I really like them they look girly and pretty and these are navy blue that I really like with the ivory color the curtains they're kind of safe through a little bit but you cannot really see outside and so people cannot see me what I'm doing in this room so that's that so I'm still looking for a perfect rug for this room but I haven't found one here is uh, my little chair that I got. Oh, I have this um, shawl that I was wearing today. And so this chair is from the World Market. It was on sale and I really, really love it. You guys all know that I love pink. So it's velvety, uh, velvety right, material. Love that. It looks more and more a lot more expensive than uh, the money that I paid for. It was less than 200 that I paid um, for the whole thing. So it's very well made and sturdy, comfortable. This one, this cushion is from Anthropology as well. It was on sale a while back. It has my favorite turquoise color and here has a little bit of silk. Can you guys see that thread? love them mixed and you guys all know that I love pink and turquoise together so I like to put them together right there so that's my little area I'm looking for a good ottoman to go with it I haven't found one so far here's my little desk that used to be my husband's and um, this is just one of the furniture that you know we bought um, as a whole set for our master room furniture love the wood uh the color just they're different love that so yeah i took this over from my husband and i really really love it but it's kind of dirty it's old so but i still like it and here is my little things that yeah just little things and oh here my my friend deepa hi she gave this to me when she was in uh, she bought it when she was when she went back to india so love that just sitting there it's a little pouch yeah i'm gonna thank her again here's my uh agenda and so i use that every single day 
just, you know, and I have little stickers that I just use. Um, these are from Daiso, so two of these, love them. And here's my little one's uh, little toy, he likes that, my friend gave to him uh, from China. And oh, here's my my computer, and here actually I have to reveal in one of the videos I got them recently. Um, one I can tell you guys, this is Agenda Refill for 2016, and I have some nails, uh, my favorite nails on the top, and I just have my little Louis Vuitton drawer that has more nail polishes. And here is the remote control that my husband traded me. <laughs> I mean, it was a such a treat. One day he came up with this, and I'll show you guys how it works. Let me see. Look at that. <laughs> how cool is that? So he got this uh, at Costco and he paid $30 for six LED lights. So he got two packs. So yeah, it does work well, but sometimes it doesn't because it was like that. That one doesn't work because it was two sets. We put them together. So sometimes look at that. It doesn't work, but I think it's so cool and I was so happy when he did that and you don't have to worry about the the lights getting hot so far because that's LED so it's always cool and yeah, it's the batteries all come with the pack so I will strongly suggest you guys to go for them you just, they, uh, it all come with it the sticker comes with it and you put them up, whatever you want and they they just make a fantastic showcase that's that so that's my area um i got that whole bookshelf from ikea and i think i paid about seven dollars i believe if not i will put the link down below and it's just fantastic not too expensive but looking good and i can store a lot of things there um, and those four handbags right there are the ones that have um, handles standing up so they cannot fit into these little sections on this bookshelf so I had to put them up there because I didn't want them to be on the floor so I'm thinking of getting another bookshelf that is different than this one I think IKEA has that and it's more open so I can put them on here or the other area in this room and I'm thinking of uh, moving this desk to another place so I can have more space and yeah things like that so that's that and one of the things I want to say is that I don't cover I mean I don't put the dust 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 bags sorry guys dust bags over my handbags I mean, this is just how it is. Not always like that. And I just dust them, the bookshelf and the handbags, just with the uh, little cloth uh, uh, once, a, once a week or so. And they stay really pretty and pristine condition. I thought I used to have them with the dust covered. And I don't know. I mean, yeah, I have them. So... It's good to just have them like this, I think, love them, and there's no problem, I'm the only one always touching it, so. Okay, here are the boxes uh, from my favorite stores. Here's Peekaboo right there, and all those four bags are fully stuffed with the air papers, so they look structured and nice sitting there. And that's kimono from Louis Vuitton in cherry and Prada double bag, small size with the red lining. And there is my mini uh, Prada double bag again, turquoise color with the mint lining. The mint color lining has the twilly from Hermes wrapped on the one handle. And here, let me show you guys this way first. Um, by this time, if you're watching this video, I already have a um, the entire handbag collection video for 2015. So you guys can go and check them out uh, for the more details info on these handbags. If you guys are 
interesting to know and how they look on me so that's that. I'll leave that link down below so here is my latest purchase from Chanel this is the Chanel mini flap red lambskin square shape I have how I store it is to put the felt right here it's very very soft so this metal chain wouldn't make a mark or a dent on this lamb skin it's pretty delicate so I have that always there and when you open it I have a little felt that came with this handbag so I just still have that on there inside I have um, the chain tucked in but it's not touching anywhere in this lining so it doesn't make the dent again so I have little air papers in there so that air paper doesn't scratch up the lining as well because it's also lambskin lining and I have a little uh, birthday gift from my lovely essay Giulini from Louis Vuitton so that's sitting right there I thought they go together since it has the red balloon there here is my next handbag boy bag uh, uh, old medium size the red color lambskin again um, it's with the antique finish gold hardware hardware I mean gold hardware there so inside of course it's also uh, stuffed with the air paper, paper uh, for the structureness and here what I have is the base shaper for my speedy um, dummy bin that I used to have so I just use that to put that on the bottom um, just the color is same so it's like leathery type of material so it will help out just in case it gets scratched on the bottom so I have that on the bottom and this also being lambskin and yeah so I have this heavy duty um, chain not sticking into I mean onto the lambskin or the you know the leather <laughs> so I just have it right there so it doesn't hurt or touch anywhere on this body of the handbag and the leather is just sitting on the bit behind of this handbag so yeah that's how I store it that's that next I have the jumbo my favorite favorite all time um, love this handbag and the way how I store this handbag is I tuck all the chain inside but also the same thing uh, not to get the dent inside of the handbag I have the air paper inside and on the top of the air paper I have the chain um, just there so it doesn't touch anywhere in the lining so I have that so that's all that I how I store that handbag and it stays really really pretty like there Next, I have Twist from Louis Vuitton. This is a size MM and this one is very durable since it's epi leather. And just to have that hanging there just like the boy bag on the behind. And yeah, that's all that I have inside. Also a air paper, it has microfiber lining. So that's how I stored that one. And here is my Louis Vuitton Clonie. Uh, size BB Grenard um, Grenade color beautiful pink shade love the handbag and there behind I have lots of boxes from Tiffany and I thought they go together since I like turquoise and pink together so that is that inside of course air paper and also the shoulder strap it comes with the bag I have that rolled in so that's inside of the bag. Next I have here Montaigne Louis Vuitton size MM with the zippy coin purse exact same color Dahlia love 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 the color and Ampron so so pretty so it's also air paper inside this bag is very structured you don't really have to put anything in it and I have the shoulder strap just hanging right there nothing touching anywhere so it doesn't make any damage here is my next handbag 
This is the favorite size MM Dami Bin from Louis Vuitton. And here, this one uh, doesn't stand up by itself. So I put some of the boxes from Louis Vuitton that they are all for the SLGs. So this will just uh, stand up like that, leaning toward that. And how I store it is put the little paper that actually came with this handbag when I bought it at my SA. She put that in because I don't know if I asked for it but anyways that came with it so I just still use that to uh, keep the back shape and here is the shoulder strap I just roll it inside uh, and I always have the shoulder strap just tied there so I don't have to be keep untie and tie uh, you know and here the chain is behind so it wouldn't scratch up the front here, the hardware. I have little, um, what do you call this, the tag. I used to have this hanging on my speedy dummy bin, but now I no longer have that, so it's just there, and I still love it. CC, that's my initials. Um, yeah, I hope I can use that with maybe something else, but I haven't found one. Next, I have mini pochette. Uh, no, not mini pochette. It's the uh, pochette Matisse. I have this beautiful handbag right here. Love this handbag so much. I have the twilly wrapped on the handle. When you open it, I have little air papers stuff in the front part of the pocket. And in the middle, I have the dust bag that came with for the handle the shoulder strap but the shoulder strap is wrapped right there um, so the weight of it it's in the middle of this handbag so it doesn't fall front or back so I'll leave it there and next I have favorite another favorite this is really my favorite handbag so uh, size MM again and I made a sword print and I have a uh, Louis Vuitton box behind so it will stand up like so. I have um, these three fur uh, puffy charms from Michael Kors. I love them and I just when I use them I just put them you know take it. So those three just sitting there and this is exactly the same thing how I store my handbag air paper inside this did, this bag didn't come with the air paper inside so I just um, put some kind of air paper and I have the shoulder strap the same as my dummy bin one wrapped in rolled in inside and tied so I have the chain behind again so it wouldn't touch that. Next, I have lots of things going on in this section. I have some boxes from Louis, uh, Hermes, sorry guys, and I have some clicks and Chanel um, jewelries. I have perfume. I don't really use perfume, so I just have that. That's all uh, beside of the sample sizes that I get from Sephora. Here are my sunglasses. I have sunglasses case and I have sunglasses in and that's that. Next I have Never Fall size MM Damio Zor here. Um yeah, this bag is absolutely my favorite one of. So right there, I don't really worry about Vachetta getting darker, just being without dust bag, I guess. Um, I actually prefer the look of Bachetta leather getting dark against the Dummy Azor. They look really, really fantastic in my opinion. So yeah, that's what I have and I love that how I store it. It's with the dust bag inside. I use the dust bag to make just like a cushion. So I put the air paper, lots of air papers inside of the dust bag and I roll it and it becomes a little uh, cushion for this handbag um, to keep the structure. And here is my mini pochette evasion line. So I have that, so I thought it's pretty to sit there. I have a little 
um, pouch that came with this handbag so that's right here so I can sometimes use that so far I haven't that's right there and here is my card holder that I use um, whenever I go out so I have that there this moves around in this whole you know bookshelf here's my Alma PM Coquelicot Happy Leather absolutely gorgeous stunning stunning color stunning classic Louis Vuitton handbag this one also I have air paper so pretty much every handbag that I have I have air paper inside here is my six key holder cherry color Bernice used every single day here is my favorite shape wallet that I found which is Sarah wallet after going through so many wallets so I have the Sarah this is the particular one that they call a retiro since it has the little more details and the lining is red so I love that next I have Coco Handel from Chanel this is size medium I don't know if you guys can see that um, yeah so I have the display right there uh, with the shoulder strap kind of wrapped in on the top of the handle and air paper also inside fully stuffed next I have Brea I have uh, air paper again so and it's closed up on the top and love 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 epi leather so next I have Prada Camille color Lux tote um right and I have just like same thing like never full I have Prada dust bag and air paper inside of the dust bag and I used it just like pillow like and then just put it in and it keeps the shape love this handbag never had an issue with the um, leather cracking so forth so that is that here is some boxes that I have this is the box for my jumbo magnetic closure one uh, for Chanel from Chanel and this is my Asp jewels uh, recently that I got that's uh, just a box empty box and let me just go through here this is the empty spot um, just have a little bit I mean this thing it's just um, just there <laughs> here is my few uh, some SLGs Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet um, evasion line monogram and here is mini pochette monogram here is toiletry 19 26 love all of them here are my five uh, belts uh, that I have. This is Louis Vuitton, so three Louis Vuittons and Hermes both here. I have them and this is the velvety thing that I have from the jewelries that I keep. Um, I got them from Amazon. And here is my Retiro, uh, the new model, color noir. I have the air papers fully stuffed. and. This shoulder strap, I have that from there going this way so it wouldn't bend or get any damage from storing in this place. Here's my little charm from Louis Vuitton, always hanging in this handbag, on this handbag. Here I have some boxes, small boxes, uh, and as you can see, the ribbons from Chanel and all different places, some envelopes. Uh, the receipts envelopes all the envelopes that there's no receipts inside because um, I store them in different place and here is Cartier uh, cleaner that they gave me one time for uh, my watch here is Rolex um, just a box and a few boxes from Louis Vuitton and this is a travel um, little thing for a Cartier watch here my um, this box I have all the dust bags that that I have for all the handbags and so forth so Prada and Fendi and you know all of them and the little dust bag that it's behind right here I normally just have one sitting right in here so I can find it quickly when I go out of town um, 
like you know I use this to um, bring one of the belts uh, in my suitcase that's what I do here and next I have my receipts all of them inside uh, a lot of them and I normally have them organized but at the moment I was looking for something else so that's that story guys uh, next I have just a little space that I keep some magazines this is from Louis Vuitton and I have Nordstrom and Sex Fit magazines that I like to sometimes go through when I have a little break normally I don't uh, from my little one here's my town board just a sunny sunglasses case here I have lots of small boxes from Chanel and Prada and you know things like that that I don't want to lose so that is that so that's what I have all uh, in this little area um, how is that if you guys have any questions please let me know and uh, check out my entire handbag collection video where I will show how they look on me and a little more details I believe I'll leave that link down below so I hope everyone have good wonderful day and I'll get back to you with another video. Bye-bye.